Good morning, YouTube family. It's Satoshi Boomin here coming at you with another video. I've got some great news today. V Chain has another partnership, as you can see right here. I was trying to hide it from you, but <laughs> looks like I can't. Uh, but before I go into this, guys, I'm gonna need you to subscribe. Before I give you the goods, go ahead down below, hit the subscribe button. You can see my videos every day. I come out with this heat daily, guys. Daily crypto videos. Hit the hit the uh, subscribe button. Hit the like button and comment below. Let's get right into it. Shanghai Gas Blockchain partnership with V Chain, guys. Yes, another V Chain partnership. They've got like 30 already. <laughs> But here's another big one guys and in bid to enhance grid network activity and reduce operational costs Shanghai gas is powered with enterprise focused blockchain system V chain the Shanghai <coughs> uh, Gas block partnership is also a response to the increasing demand for digital transformation as a result of 19 pandemic now before I get into this guys I need to say something The world's changing Okay, it's not going to be the same pre-pandemic. So you've got to set yourself up in the best way possible in order to survive in the future. Companies aren't going to do this again. They're not going to, you know, hire all these expensive employer employees and, you know, just leave it up to chance. There a, a lot of a lot of companies are moving more more automated. OK, if they can replace you with a machine that's cheaper, doesn't complain, doesn't get sick, they will. A machine doesn't get 19. A machine doesn't strike because they don't have access to face masks. You are easily replaceable in capitalism, guys. So make sure that you're setting yourself up in a way to where you're not expendable. If I were you, I'd get into IT. You know, if you like coding, I can't stand it. I think it's boring. But if you like coding, get into coding. Learn how to fix something because these boring jobs that, you know, you can just push a button to do, they're going to be out the door because companies, if we have another pandemic like this, you know, they'll just put up a kiosk instead of, you know, a human. It's, it's a lot easier and a lot cheaper and a lot less liability. So position yourself in a way that you can stay ahead of the um, stay ahead of the automation curve. But back into this, guys. Sorry about that. I just think that's extremely important. The Shanghai Gas Blockchain Partnership <clears throat> uh, is coming on the heels of a successful pilot organization by VChain and EEN, which focused on enhancing business processes and supply chain efficiency through trustless energy as a service ecosystem. However, Shanghai Gas Blockchain Partnership with VeChain will allow the energy giant to automate several of its processes, including energy trading, logistics, financial product pro processing, and an engagement with essential energy partners. Guys, automate. <laughs> like I was just saying, this used to be taken care of by a human, but with COVID-19, I'm not monetized, so I can say it. <laughs> Subscribe so I can get monetized. Anyway, uh, but with COVID-19, people, companies aren't playing around anymore, man. Like, they are thinking of ways on how to get robots to do the same jobs. Good for VeChain, bad for us. The first place this project seeks to augment <clears throat> the process involved in uh, delivering liquefied natural gas LNG technicalities like delivery information and the component information of the storage tank which reveals the quality of LNG will be uploaded to VeChain Thor blockchain via VeChain toolchain and we're going to get into toolchain later um, here in a minute a one-stop business as a service data platform that's what BAAS means this blockchain-based LNG management solution will facilitate enhanced data sharing across value chain stakeholders and allow smooth business conducts due to the blockchain's immutability. As one of the largest importers of LNG, this project will help China manage its raising customer demands, consumer demands in rural and urban areas. Yes, guys, we want companies that solve problems and 
can help cut costs and that's exactly what VeChain does having these <clears throat> LNGs um, stored on the blockchain immutable you know exactly what you're getting um, no cutting no funny business no counterfeiting that's exactly what we need and not only that the enhanced tracking systems will allow to, uh, people to get gas where they need it, how, how much they need, um, it will eliminate waste, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this is, this is excellent. Let's continue. Shanghai Gas is now planning to move to second phase of the project, which involves investigating the viability of blockchain's integration for improving energy trading logistics management and creating a new financial opportunity within the energy industry value chain stakeholders will benefit from this initiative to include insurance companies logistic firms and banks and lastly here the <clears throat> the market for blockchain energy solutions is rapidly expanding experts now are predicting that this market may grow from a $157 million industry as of 2016 to a whopping $35 billion industry by 2025. It's no surprise that considering the fact that there are several problems in the energy sector, like delayed transactions, shipping, and audits are all solvable through blockchain integration. And who specializes in transactions, shipping, and audits? VeChain, guys. These optimistic predictions may uh, have taken a hit due to the outbreak, but this hasn't stopped the big players from positioning themselves to reap the benefits of the next uh, multi-billion dollar industry. Guys, these companies are not going to wait for the next pandemic to replace you. They're already doing it now. Get your stuff together, get your skills in order so you don't get left behind like the coal miners. Like, guys, <laughs> I'm not even going to get into that. And then down here, they're talking about Power Ledger and Solar and other and other companies here. So, <clears throat> yes, guys, a new V Chain partnership just released. Super excited. Um, you know, this next bull run is going to be extremely interesting, and I cannot wait. In more V Chain news, Sunny Lou uh, says that V Chain Tool Chain. Now, this is uh, this was released last year I think in April 2019 tool chain is basically a you know business as a service blockchain as a service solution so uh, companies you know they don't want to have to build their whole blockchain from scratch that takes a lot of time a lot of money and a lot of you know technical know-how that a lot of companies just don't have the resources to send to that so with the blockchain as a service solution it's a one-stop shop blockchain solution that vchain can just integrate into a business and they have blockchain kind of like uh, software as a solution services where you know speak uh you know photoshop for instance that's a software as a service solution so adobe sells that product to companies that need a you know photoshop solution so if you need a blockchain solution uh, v chains tool chain here will be the solution you get easily get set up Sunny Lou down here says uh, uh, this is talking about the VeChain boot camp here uh, I'm gonna get into that a bit later here uh, but it's a live streaming webinar uh, series in response to the fact that we can't do the public press conferences I don't know why my nose always gets stuffy every time I try to talk Anyway, the idea is to use online sessions to share the latest advancements and product iterations in a direct interactive way. The first webinar was dedicated to the new version of the VeChain toolchain, which according to the VeChain Foundation surpasses the original version by several factors and can scale exponentially. And then down here, Sunny Lou says, <clears throat> using the history of the internet, software as a service, and e-commerce as a basis will be the new era, era of standard blockchain services to power almost every sector, every industry across the globe. Scalability is vital to all blockchain platforms. 
We are working with the big enterprises like DNVGL, PwC, and Deloitte to help them serve their customers. DNVGL can provide digital verification based on the data on the blockchain instead of sending people everywhere to do the auditing and inspection. This just seems like more automation to me, guys. I'm telling you, man. This world is never going to be the same. Most of the current B, uh, B, uh, blockchain as a software, blockchain as a service platform, is still focusing on the underlying blockchain technology, <clears throat> like nodes, explorers, wallets, etc. VeChain Toolchain trademark differentiates from other blockchain as a service platforms, not only with advanced infrastructure services, but its business ready middlewares and third party service providers partners, which is the missing part uh, that the enterprise clients can easily use to build their own business processes and manage data on the blockchain. So yes. As we can see here, these are the partners that use Toolchain already. Um, here's some more information about Toolchain here. Um, you know, we got some new functions on Toolchain. I'm gonna start putting these links in the description below so you can check them out. Uh, so yeah, Toolchain, they're doing a summit now. Um, you could go on their Reddit and check out uh, their it's pretty much press conference. This is where they go and talk about the future of blockchain. So um, I'm definitely going to check that out today. But go ahead and check it out. They've been doing it for like a week or two. Um, the tool chain summit or webinar or whatever. So <clears throat> again, I will link that in the description below. And in more tool chain news, you know, here's another description of tool chain here. Uh, blockchain as a service, comprehensive uh, blockchain platform offering diverse services, including product lifecycle management, supply chain processes, control, data deposits, data certification, and processes. Any business, no matter how large or small, can utilize blockchain technology to further enhance brand perception as well as value. So, yeah, guys, tool chain, blockchain as a service. Here's some more. Um, um, features of blockchain uh, of tool chain here and there was really something awesome that I wanted to share I will scroll down here slowly so you could take a look but as we get down here the sample case guys this is big here this shows you in a like a sort of diagram of what they're actually trying to accomplish here so I don't quite know where it starts but let's just say it starts here we all know that VeChain supplies RFID tags, so they supply the uh, RFID tags to products. <clears throat> Those Internet of Things devices keep track of the product's production, and then they keep track of the storage and the transportation. They're certified, uh, and then it goes to the supply chain. That supply chain goes to retailing, it goes to e-commerce, and then to the customer interaction. Remember what we showed a couple of days ago where they uh, scanned the N95 mask, uh, they found out it was valid, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and then, you know, goes to after sales uh, report. So, you know, we are um, condensing the supply chain, um, getting out humans and <clears throat> automating it. Um, and I think that that is great. So yeah, guys, here's here's what they're trying to accomplish here, and I think this diagram is amazing. So take a look. Uh, again, I'm gonna go ahead and link all this down here, and then here, you know, has some use cases. Toolchain IoT chips, which cannot be copied or reused, are attached to the caps of wine bottles during production by leveraging various IoT devices and the VeChain work app. The producer collects and manages core data generated in the entire life cycle of the wine from raw, raw material, procurement, production, processing, logistics, warehouse, warehousing, retail distribution, all the way to the end customer, while simultaneously improving processes, management efficiency, and business decision making. All of the data will be verified and stored on the VThor, VeChain Thor blockchain, ensuring its immutability. Big stuff, guys. VeChain is definitely the future of supply chain management. I, I don't think that there's any other 
blockchain that comes close to this uh, I could be wrong uh, hit me up in the comment section if you have another coin that does what VeChain does pound that like button right now guys this is fire information and in other VeChain news guys this is great news how blockchain can lead exports recovery now this starts to talk about how supply chains have been strained uh, through the uh, <clears throat> the news that we have, the 19 news that we have. So it talks about that throughout the uh, um, throughout the article here. I'm just going to read a small small portion of it. Those delays mean uh, so it's basically talking about uh, how things have been delayed for about six to eight weeks due to 19. Those delays mean that Australian exporters must wait even longer than usual to get paid, which is why the members of the new APAC Providence Council <coughs> are pinning their hopes on blockchain technology uh, and the support of payment giants MasterCard and Alibaba. If you don't know, APAC Providence Council partnered with VeChain in order to uh, handle their supply chain management of produce in Australia along with MasterCard and Alibaba. So making partnerships all over the world. Industry-based initiative will apply VeChain's public blockchain to supply chains exporting $76 billion worth of agriculture surplus to China's massive population every year. This will provide new options for firms like Brisbane-based supply chain company Integrator, uh, Fresh Supply Co., FSC, which has previously helped firms like IBM use open source Hyperledger blockchain to track production of avocados, Wagyu beef, and other products. With VeChain public blockchain running many times faster and already proven in relationships with the likes of BMW, China Unicom, Walmart China, and Bright Food, the initiative could be critical <clears throat> to how we strengthen brand Australia and brand New Zealand. Fresh Supply CEO uh, David Andaris told Information Age. So yes, guys, um, they are making moves here. Seventy-four, seventy-six billion dollars worth of Australian uh, surplus to Chinese to China's massive population every year is insane. That's a lot of money moving. That's a lot of trust, guys. Um, so VeChain is out here making moves. I'm excited. I'm hoping for one dollar in this next bull run comment down below tell me what you guys think and uh, yeah let's all get this money win moon win Lambo uh, and it goes down here to say how <coughs> blockchain is a lot cheaper than traditional supply chain managements and on and on the list goes on moving on and in Bitcoin news guys well crypto news Stable coin supply breaks 10 billion as traders demand dollars over Bitcoin. Good old Tether doing it again. <laughs> the value from uh, the value of assets for all stable coins surpassed 10 billion Tuesday, having surged by 70% in just two months, according to Coin Metrics. Stable coin supply growth comes as more cryptocurrency tra traders. Choose to trade alternative currency or altcoins user, using digitally backed digital tokens instead of Bitcoin. Yes, I agree. I would rather use a stablecoin than the US dollar. And the reason for that is because it's easily swappable. You know, if I wanted to take my Bitcoin and convert it into USD coin, it takes like, what, 10 minutes? Like, easy. If I wanted to do that with a dollar, Jesus, it took days. Banks are old guard, man. Be your own bank, guys. It's this time. It's 2020. You don't need a third party to handle your money. And most of the stablecoin growth comes from Tether, which represents almost 90% of the total stablecoin market. The largest Tether markets are traded volume, supported by two Asia-based exchanges, Binance and Huobi, according to CoinGecko. Both exchanges support nearly 200 different cryptocurrency, which makes them attractive platforms for altcoin traders like myself. Almost every exchange offers the choice to trade assets priced in different quotes currencies, usually dollars or bitcoins, which determine the value of alternative cryptocurrencies. 
Altcoin traders have preferred to use Bitcoin or even Ether as a currency that prices other tokens, but in the last past two years, the trend has signif shifted significantly. Now they mostly trade against stable coins here. So you can see that USD to BTC pair. I don't trade against stable coins. I just, you know, if I make a profit, swap it in a tether, swap it in a USD coin. Um, you could actually earn interest on that and buy in at a lower rate for more. So it's actually pretty good. The stability of dollar-backed tokens is a primary advantage over using Bitcoin as a quote currency. According to one analyst, stable coins have always had an edge over Bitcoin-based trading pair because of the inherent price stability. So yeah, it just goes down here to say, you know, people are using uh, stable coins more and more. Um, don't listen to the FUD that central banks are going to ban them. That's FUD. They can't ban them. Um, if they do, <laughs> they won't be too popular with their constituents. So, yeah. And in Satoshi Nakamoto news, Satoshi Nakamoto, Craig Wright, just kidding. He's not Satoshi Nakamoto. <laughs> Craig Wright threatened to crash Bitcoin price. So what happened? Well, Satoshi Nakamoto um, said that uh, long-term advance notice from 2018 that he would crash the Bitcoin's price. Um, there are many having predictions yet to come true. Among them, Satoshi uh, claimant Dr. Craig Wright's long-term advance notice from 2018 that he intended to crash the Bitcoin's price. Um, I can't even. I can't even read that. <coughs> Um, it says, long-term advance notice, I plan to sell a large volume of BTC for USD. This will occur on a single exchange as a rolling iceberg order, finally, followed by significant orders on other exchanges. Um, I it's expected that the value will drop significantly and be matched by a 10x leverage short. This is what people are already doing right now, uh, especially whales, in order to crash the price. I talked about this the other day. What they like to do is they have, let's just say you're a whale. Let's just say in, you know, 30 years, VeChain did massive coin burns and now they're 8K, they're 8K, $8,000 a coin and you've been stacking for a long time. You've got a million VeChain coins and you want to get some more at a lower price. So what you do is you take 50K of that VeChain coin. Well, first, you take 50, you take like 20K of your VeChain coin, put it on exchange, and put it in a short order. Then you take the rest of your VeChain coins, sell them on the market, you will crash the price of VeChain, but your short will actually kick in too, which means that <laughs> your short will get filled, meaning that you gain 20 eggs on whatever you put there, <laughs> which will also crash the price. You get the you get your coins, you get your money, then you buy back at a lower rate. You get more. That's how these people are doing it. So that's what he's saying here. Right sell-off threat came <clears throat> just prior to the much hyped fork of the Bitcoin Cash blockchain to create SV. Yes, Craig Wright is the creator of Bitcoin SV. I don't use BSV. Um, I don't care about BSV. So whatever Craig right I mean people still f people like to follow scams I don't know why um, people must like to get scammed uh, you know if it walks like a duck quacks like a duck then it probably is a duck so alright Craig right you uh, have fun with that buddy Alright guys, this video has gone on quite long, but it was a great video, and we have four, one, 1,456 days into the halving, again, yes guys, I'm so, so, so excited for the next halving, um, it's going to be so hard to get Bitcoin, please do not sell your Bitcoin, guys, alright, don't put your Bitcoin on leverage exchanges like a noob, bro, you have these YouTubers out here shilling, you know these leverage exchanges they're laughing at you because they don't they don't trade with leverage 
they're telling you to trade it with leverage so that, you know, Bybit or BitMEX can give them a cut of the share. But they're not trading their coins with leverage. They're telling you, oh man, 100x leverage, you can make serious gains, and then you do it, get liquidated, and then they laugh at you secretly, bro. Do not put your money on BitMEX. Don't put your money on Bybit. Buy your Bitcoin, get a Nano Ledger S comment down below, and be your own bank. And finally, guys, let's take a look at the markets here. I'm going to refresh. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, things look uh, to be trending sideways. They were talking about like a BART head of something of some sorts. Uh, that's what happens when whales leverage swap, I guess. So, like I said earlier, they sell a bunch and have a leverage position open. Uh, so it dumps the price and then it goes sideways for a bit and then it comes right back up. That's what like a BART head is. I don't really follow technical analysis because technical analysis doesn't really work in crypto because of the whales, in my opinion. A whale could just crash the price or boost the price at any moment. It just depends on what they want to do at that particular time. Uh, so TA is a bit of a... I really don't follow it, whatever. I just you know dollar cost average pick a coin do my research on it and trade it so that's what I suspect you to do too Bitcoin up 3% in the past day but still down overall um, let's take a look here um, Wow so that's a nice pump uh, electronium I've never heard of that Aragon's pumping red coin still pumping Wow uh, now, I looked into the Synthetics Network token here. I actually kind of want to start staking this because it seems like a very interesting product. I'm going to do more research before I get into it, obviously, but it certainly does look like an interesting product, and I really want to <clears throat> learn more about Synthetics. If you already use Synthetics, please, guys let me know on the bottom and if I do talk about like a pump and dump or something that's been you know exit scam please let me know I don't know everything guys I you know I can do research but you know I still don't know everything so if you know something that I don't please comment below and let me know but yeah synthetic seems pretty pretty easy to stake with I know you have to learn some collateralization debt ratios and stuff but I don't think it'll be too hard. Um, yeah, I mean, V chains up four percent. We need to break out after all this nineteen stuff. I expect a huge breakout for V chain. So overall, the market's in green today um, over the past twenty-four hours. So that's a good sign. Um, and with that, guys, I am going to let you go. Thank you so much for. <laughs> liking my videos subscribing um, and just watching them in general if you want more please comment please like and please subscribe um, and i hope you have a wonderful wednesday i should be receiving a new um microphone today or tomorrow so uh the audio quality will be a lot better and i'm so excited um also i want to buy new Marair, but i don't know how <laughs> <laughs> which is very frustrating. I know you can get it on Bitrex, but I don't know if you can use Bitrex in America yet. I need to look into that. Anyway, I'm going to go, guys. I'm just rambling on. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Goodbye.